Priority records, Brian Turner, you know, um, that that guy really showed me a lot of love and he showed me the utmost respect for my talent. Um, he was the only executive that I know that ever took the time to come from being a CEO, multi-millionaire CEO, come from his place all the way to my home to come see how I work in my home in Oakland. You know what I mean? Like that was special to me because I knew that it was sincere and it was no, it was just all organic because he really believed in me. And I'm not saying that this business don't go on, but I'm saying that was the best relationship. I was able to do stuff. He gave me the creative control to do things. He was the one that begged me to be on the Friday soundtrack, which I could have easily missed. But he was like, you got to be on that. That soundtrack alone changed my life because he wanted me on there. I mean, that just, that speaks for itself right there. What was your worst business relationship? <laughs> I got a lot of those, man. But I say the worst one would have to be DreamWorks. You know, DreamWorks records, uh, you know, you think in dealing with a company that's billionaires, you know, you're talking about David Katzenberg, Steven Spielberg, David Geffen, you know, you, you're talking about powerhouse, you know what I mean? These are three power, and to be with a company that just was really not taking care of the artists the way they want, you know what I'm saying? You know, you would never, you know, get nothing done. They had their own little agenda. Um, a lot of people suffered being over there and I was one of them, you know, I had to wind up, you know, filing a lawsuit and, you know, and settling it. And it was just, it was just a terrible situation to be in, man. When you look up to some of these guys that you think have no reason to not do it right. You know, there's no reason when you're in these positions and you have all of this, this power, so, so to speak, from my eyes to get in there and it seemed like, man, you really being cheap with me. You know what I mean? You really trying to take me as mother direct. So, you know, DreamWorks was really, you know, a bad situation for me. So what do you think about relationships overall? Uh far as just overall relationship, brother, is just whoever you're dealing with in general. I think from what I know is that you have to have discernment. You have to know and talk to that person and see where they're coming from. And kind of, you know, I listen to what people say for me to get an idea on if it fits my temperament or we in the same ballpark of how we think and how long can we really uh like there's some people you can deal with because you can play ball with them play basketball but then they have another mindset away from something you have in common and you have to know okay we only good with playing ball i i get that oh we can have deep conversations because we had that so we good for that you know saying oh we good because we like these type of movies so we could so I know that relationships is based upon understanding and having that discernment on what that person, and then if you find that person that you have that whole common thing, then that's just, you know, that's one that I'm going to stay around for the whole picture because we can do multiple things, but most people are so one dimensional. You only really can deal with them for what they're strong at and you kind of got to let it be or else you will wind up clashing and not having that friendship because now it's, it's walking in other, uh, other territories.